Here we have an Asus laptop that came in for repair. And this one is not the usual red board or blue board, but it's the green board. Customer wrote, this one is the UX6601ZW, but seems to be also called N76012W. Let's read what the customer wrote. I see pages and pages and paragraphs. I'm not going to read all of them. I'm just going to read the initial ticket notes right here. No lights. I suspect the usual MOSFET issue. The laptop was working perfectly. I did a routine update to BIOS 309 for N7601ZW official, and the NVIDIA GPU fan stopped working. I'm not 100% sure if it's related, because a few days later, the laptop stopped powering on. I survived with the GPU for a few days. Another case of if it's not broken, let's break it. Why the firmware update if the laptop is working? Unless the firmware is providing something that you really need. A feature that you've been waiting for for years and they released it and you have to have it, then you update. Do not update your BIOS if it's working. Do not update Windows if it's working. Do not switch thermal paste with liquid metal if your laptop is working. Do not switch a GPU fan housing with a liquid block if it's working. 50% of devices that we get in here were working before. But after an update or after trying to improve that device in the process, they damage that device. Now the customer mentioned something about updating BIOS. Let me plug the charging cable in. Or before we plug the charging cable, let's start by measuring for a short. You know how Asus laptops, they never ever short out, right? We're going to measure for a short right here. And we do not have a short. We have a 0 0.59 voltage drop reading, which is a bit high. Usually it's around 0 0.45. But... It's not alarming to me. Let me plug the charging cable so we do not waste too much time. And I'm going to monitor the board under a thermal camera and see if there's anything obvious, even though we do not have a short. But still, let's plug the charging cable and we're going to monitor the board under a thermal camera just to see if... The oh, oh, look at this. We have something going on here. This looks like the Super I.O. chip. So prior your chip is hot. It's actually burning hot. What's the temperature on that chip? Around 195 degrees Fahrenheit. But we have something else hot here. And there's a piece of tape right on the side of the board. Let me flip the board. Okay, so we're going to have to remove that piece of tape and see what's under here. Something is hot under this piece of tape. Let's inspect one more time under the thermal camera. Hey, what's up, man? I guess it originally got sent to San Diego, got delivered to, uh, I don't know what. So you or your customers have to investigate. That's way out of my They can track it that it was delivered there first? Okay, good. So the customer is able to track this information. Yeah. We have nothing to do with this. Now, I do not know if you have to program the Super IO chip. I've done it a couple of times on this channel with MSI laptops where I bought the chip, empty chip, installed it, and the computer programmed it by itself. So I do not know if that's the case here. And I do not know if replacing this chip will fix the problem, the no power issue. Let's start by desoldering the chip.
So we should be able to find a similar chip on many of the donor boards that we have for ACES. Then we're going to have to reball whatever chip we get off the donor. This one is 15125VG. I think it's a common chip on many ACES laptops. 5125VG. I do have many donors right next to me. I did a couple of ACES laptops today and I still have the donors laying on the floor next to me. And let me look at the Super IO on this one, the red board. iPhone 25 VG, exactly the same chip. All right. Now we're gonna plug in the cable again, just to see if we get any more heat spots on the board. Maybe the other heat spot will disappear now that we took this chip out. You see? That's where we remove the tape. The heat spot is gone. We remove the tape from here. We do not have a heat spot anymore. Super I.O. looks like the culprit. We're not getting a heat spot at the Super I.O. area right here because the chip is removed and cleaned. And we do not have a heat spot where we remove the tape. Awesome. So we are on our way to hopefully fixing that board. You may see me wearing the same shirt I did like four videos today. Let's go ahead and remove the donor Super I.O. chip. So that's the good chip right here. I do not know where I put my silver pen, but let me mark it with the black one. This is the good one. We're going to use a chip holder so we can clean that chip. If we do not have a chip holder, then cleaning that chip will be a nightmare because that chip is going to wobble left and right all over the place. I do not have a stencil for this chip, but we're gonna try to reball it using a generic stencil. Nice and gentle. I see one oxidized pad on that chip. Right over here. They do not have to be perfectly clean because we're going to reball that chip. We're going to add solder balls or solder paste, which will turn into solder balls. 
Let's see which stencil I'm going to use. Okay, so that's not the right stencil. What about this one? And that's not the right one. Let's see if that one will work. This one is the same one that we sell on our site but it doesn't look like it's gonna work here. Okay, so this one matches. Now this stencil is for a Mac. A Mac stencil, which we carry and sell on our site, and we also have a universal one that we sell. Let me check the universal one. I have it right here. And right there. All right, we did an amazing job. We're gonna clean up the chip and solder it back on the customer's board and hopefully that chip will work. Like I said, I have not tried to change an IO chip on an Asus motherboard. I've done it on an MSI motherboard where we did not have to program that chip. The chip will program itself from BIOS when the laptop turns on. So hopefully it's the same on this laptop, but one way to find out.
we want that shift to settle in place. It's going to align itself. Right there. Tap, it pulls back. And the chip is soldered on perfectly. We did an amazing job, even though we did not have a stencil for that chip. We managed and we did an excellent job. Hopefully that chip will work. Charging cable is plugged in. And thermal camera is turning on. Now, do we still have a heat spot at the Super IO chip? And the answer is we do not have a heat spot at the Super IO chip anymore. The chip is right here. And the cable is plugged in, the charging cable. Okay, awesome. We also do not have a heat spot in the center here. Before, we had a heat spot at the Super IO chip, which is right there. And we had a heat spot right here. I removed the tape to inspect and see what's getting hot. But now after we replaced the Super IO chip, we no longer have a heat spot here, nor at the Super IO chip. Amazing. So assuming the chip does not need reprogramming, the laptop should work. I'm gonna hand the board over to Big Boss to assemble and test, and hopefully I have good news. I'll be back. Let's check on Big Boss. He's done with the reassembly and Charging cable is plugged in. Are we gonna get a light? Yes, 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 yes. 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 amazing, amazing. Yeah. We did not have to reprogram that chip. We removed the chip, we bolted it, soldered it on the board, and look at this. Wow, wow, amazing. That was an awesome repair. Thank you, big boss, the boss of all bosses. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think, leave it down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll do something else in the next video. In the meantime, let me check on my dad. He should be done with all orders. I know post office picked up. I know UPS picked up. We have new packages for UPS for tomorrow. And I do not know what's going on here. What's going on here? Pack and pillows. We have all kinds. We have this very thick bubble wrap that we make using this machine pillows using this machine and everything under control what are you packaging can i see and, uh, oh it's a video card it's a 3090 all right my dad a lot of people confuse my dad with Big Boss. Big Boss is my uncle, is my maternal uncle from mom's side. And we have the lights off because it's almost time to go home. And we are done.